प्रोफेसर रंजन घोष डॉक्टर आदित्य कुमार सेना प्रोफेसर कामल जी सिंह सिंधु प्रोफेसर अमलान चक्रवर्ती माय फ्रेंड दीपक साहू लता शिखा श्रीवास्तव मेजर जनरल दिलावर सिंह लेडीज जेंटलमैन गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई विश आई शुड हैव डन लिटिल मोर टाइम बिकॉज आई फाइंड आर टू प्रोफेसर हु गेव द लेक्चर दर फुल ऑफ नॉलेज एंड फुल ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन सच काइंड ऑफ ए फ्यूचर इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी Uh, but i'm sorry professor i i have uh, some constraint i find you full of knowledge lot of things are willing to come out from your things here but i had the uh, some issue today friends you know the entire economy of the world is 104 trillion dollar that's a size and 47% today is the digital economy the two factors are very very important under this economy whether you have a digital or the 104 trillion dollar one is the underlying layer is the ai and the second underlying layer is the communication part without saying the technology aspect there when professor amlan chakravarti was talking about it more than 80% of the traffic on the internet is encrypted there i really don't know i wanted to ask him because of the time constraint i really don't know who can help in the crypt analysis <coughs> in the real sense there so coming back to that this is the era of technology and we have to deal with whether we are dealing digital economy or whether we are not digital economy there we have to deal with the technology we have to deal with communication and we have to deal with the ai we can't escape out of it there now uh, everyone is going to be connected that's uh, what future kind of a scenario which we are talking about it just to give a the the complexity of the task and enormity of the task which we are having it if you look at the 5g communication everybody thinks is very easy and people talk about gigabit of speed that kind of a thing <clears throat> i'm sure many of you would be knowing that in the entire 5g implementation there are more than 289 next generation protocols which they are being implemented there the interfaces are there the homogeneity is nowhere there the entire data or entire issue becomes either your mobile phone or your tower there and top of this ai is there this is an era we are talking about a convergence of technology we are not talking about one technology we can't differentiate between the critical infrastructure or uh, non critical in fact sometime i wonder what is critical and what is non critical that becomes a very very difficult for me to understand there same mobile phone you used to connect whatever you may interpret critical and same mobile phone you used for whatever you may say the non critical aspect there the problems are really genuine the problems are really very very complex there what we are doing it right now is on the tips of the iceberg i really don't know whether we understand or what is the thing we need to understand to really uh, i mean address the issues what the new technology is now posing us and the challenges which we are going to have it there if you look at the hacking kind of a scenario in india itself more than half a million incident we have seen last year and this half a million incidents are not so simple there they are quite complex there used to be a time when the critical sector they never implemented the last mile your uh, uh, it or the so called wifi or transducers and sensors were more mechanical nomadic kind of a sensor sensors were there but today the last mile and everything is all interconnected as uh, professor sandhu sandhu said everything is connected today there so if something happens on my mobile phone or on a laptop or on a i on a on a kind of a ipad there it has the potential to reach the last point of the critical sector there 
Professor Ramlan Chakrati was talking about the VECC Calcutta, which they have done it. I really wonder uh, how much we, they need to do, how much they, we need to do, if we have to talk about VECC Calcutta or such kind of atomic sector. Friend, this is a, a really a complex field. Challenges are surmounting, challenges are becoming more and more, and the uh, addressability is is very very difficult as finding more 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 and more difficult there particularly when we see that every layer is going to be ai i professor bose is their institute is doing fantastic work in the ai when i went there i saw that the basic thing which we need to do professor amlan chakravarti talk about ai implementation we all take the open source kind of AI engine and start implementing the open source AI engine, integrate with them. Well, Professor Ablan Chakravarti, whatever you do, crypto, nothing going to happen if you are using the open source kind of AI engine there. Any kind of a thing which is injected right in the beginning, it will go there no matter how do you do crypto, no matter how do you do what kind of a scenario. 600 million bitcoins were stolen about a year ago. And the situation is no different than uh, today there. So we are in a very, very, very challenging uh, period. Lot need to be done. The industry is looking for ground solutions there. Ground solution. They still, many of the industry in critical sector, in India I will talk about it, they find difficult connecting their IT system with the control system, OT system. They find very difficult to do that. There is no solution which they are trying to do that. So the researchers like you all will have to give a ground path solutions there so they can solve it there. I, I don't need the kind of a, yes, I can buy a SIM, I can buy a, a, any kind of a systems there. So the problem is that the most informed sector, be it critical or banking or somewhere else, they lack comprehensive understanding. The three things which are important in today's world, one is the vulnerability, or is the interfaces, and third is the processes there. I was not there when uh, Dr. Sahu made his thing statement, but I think he said he talked about the processes which I, some one of the speakers talked about the compliances there. So compliances are becoming responsibility of the organization entity today. It's not responsibility of us there. So, uh, we need to focus, I think, I mean, everyone can't do the research of the high level research, high level thing. I think we need to create the kind of a solutions which are suitable for the industry, for day to day work and solve their problems there. That's what the need of the arts. I am so grateful, since the time is already there, uh, I am so grateful uh, for to Deepak Sahu for inviting me. I have only said little bit about the kind of a complication which we are having it. And if you look at, the, I mentioned 5G, but if you look at the 6G, you really don't know. And still we have not implemented the ORAN in the communication aspect there. It's a full of AI, full of crypto, and full of other technologies which are part of it. Thanks, Professor Sahu, for inviting me. I have only raised the tips of the issues which we are facing it. And that is where the, I think the collaboration between Indo and Australia is very, very important aspect there. Because the, the challenges which this country is facing are the same which Australia is facing there. The innovations are so fast there that the, the and innovations are fast at any point of a time, any sector will have a legacy of equipment. You can't change the entire equipment. Part you will change, part you will keep. And that is a problem which we are facing it. When the Wi-Fi 7 is already a reality there, they are implementing Wi-Fi 7. All of us, the technical people, has the urge to implement immediately the new technology there. And that's where the issue comes up there. The academia, as well as the researchers, will have to gear up to define what is the ground level issue, how can I solve it. And at times, the problem can be solved with a very, very uh, I mean, innovative mind, not so complicated solutions there, not so complicated solution. And, uh, and, and most of the time we try to complicate it, but that further complicate the situation 
for us. These are the ground realities. I am only highlighting the ground realities, the scenario there. Any institution you look at it in India or elsewhere, the hack is not for a ten dollar or hundred dollar. It comes from millions. That is where the system comes up there. So thank you, Professor Sahu, for Dr. Sahu for inviting me and uh, raising the issues which we are going to face in the future kind of a technology implementation. I wish we could have something and I can make a elaborate presentation of the two professors. Professor Bose is there, certainly he will do. Thank you very much. Thank you.